Welcome to your activation Pisces. Okay, so we're going to do the activation at the end of the video, so please make sure you stick around for that. Okay, even if the messages don't necessarily resonate, um, still do the activation. And if there's any other activations that you have seen pop up that you're appealed to, go and do them. Okay, because probably your soul is needing those. Okay, so we're using the Work Your Light Oracle deck and Sacred Spirit reading cards and the Light Seer's Tarot. So, let's get started, shall we? Yes, we shall. Third Eye Vision, Reclaim Your Mind, Pisces. <clears throat> Goodness me, Reclaim Your Mind. Okay, so... It's... Do you know what, Pisces, for some of you, I feel like there's something getting in the way of some sort of connection being made. And and um, by connection, I kind of mean a connection with your guides, uh, potentially. There's something getting in the way. Queen of Cups. Oh, I love this. Okay. So, um, too many cards there. Queen of Cups. Okay. So, it could very well be Pisces for some of you that, um, you see, this Queen of Cups, She's got her cup here, right? But she doesn't wait for anyone to come and fill it or do anything with it. <coughs> but the interesting thing... Sorry, my throat is going all funny. The interesting thing is... I'm just wondering if this is a connection with your intuition. With you, um, like, sort of like... I feel like for some of you, your emotions are getting in the way of you listening to your intuition. Okay, and I feel as though it's a bit like you need to sit in those emotions so that they can start to calm, so that you can tap in to your intuition. Okay. Yeah, see, there's this um, third eye vision, reclaim your mind. I feel like once you do that, Pisces, you will be able to go full steam ahead. I feel as though, too, you'll be able to kind of like see things a lot, um, a lot clearer and it will really help you overcome any hurdles or speed bumps that you may be hitting along the way. Okay, um, open intuition, seek clarification. Yeah, see, intuition, for sure, definitely. Um, this, is, this is you, I feel Pisces, maybe seeking clarification on the outside, um, which, look, um, that's not a bad thing. If it means that you get the clarification of what your intuition is telling you to start to learn how to utilize that intuition, fair enough. But if you are only relying on outside um, sources to bring you the information that you're seeking or that clarification, then um, I would say to really start practicing in with the intuition, start practicing really tapping in there. Um, because you have it within you. You don't need to rely on anything else outside of you. Okay, so in that regard, I feel as though it's necessary for you to really start to tap in because see how here there's actually no eyes in his, where his eye sockets are because he's got eyes everywhere else. He doesn't need them to be here because he uses his third eye. Yeah, he uses his third eye, right? And he uses his heart. He uses his intuition. He uses everything else but his seeing eyes. 
okay and it's, see it's like this here this is exactly what she's doing okay and it, it's sort of like you have this this ability inside of you like this this internal gps to lead the way but you're not tapping into it or it could be that you're learning to okay so if you're not Oh, I thought that was someone banging on the door then. If you're not um, doing that, um, if you're or if you're not sure of what you're getting, then that clarification definitely will help you with that. Okay, so tell me more about open intuition for Pisces, please. What else have we got here for Pisces about open intuition? Very interesting. Pisces, tell me more. Oh, that went flying. I don't even know what it is. Where is it? Cope it down there. Oh, we've got death and rebirth. Okay, so the ending of something and the beginning of something new. Interesting. I will pick it up, but I just really, yeah, here we go. Okay, four of cups. Won't be a moment. Okay, so death and rebirth. Oh, wow. Check that out. You see, not only are the eyes gone, the whole face is gone. It's like this tapping into to what is around you, to every other source, in order to lead the way. Four of Cups. I've got, um, also, I've got the activations written over here so that I don't have to squint reading the book and like you know um so yeah i just need to keep the um computer activated <laughs> anyway four of cups why have we got the four of cups here seeing the queen of cups here with her one cup and the four of the cups here and you see the hand here handing this cup in like the ace of cups it's sort of like it's like you guys are bored with something or or a bit like, oh, I can't bother doing that. No, nah, I'll just go outside of myself and I'll go get a reading and I'm not going to do that myself. It's like there needs to be this rebirth, um, this, this ignition of passion within you to get you going. So I feel as though... This is something, though, that you need to do, Pisces. You just can't wait for it to come. You actually need to have that happen your, it, yourself, and maybe this activation will help you with that as well. Okay, ground your light. Let your soul shine. Okay, so grounding. Okay, because while she is sitting here, it looks like to me she's sitting on some sort of stool or cushion or something. Get in onto the earth. Get onto the earth. Pisces, go down to the beach, go to the water, whatever it is that you need to do to ground yourself, to connect, okay? To connect in with the highest source of light down to the crystalline grid of the earth and bring those energies in to meet within your heart space here. Bring the energies down and up to meet in the heart space. Okay, Pisces, this is really, really going to help you um, to increase your vibration because this here, this is not the space that, you know, is really going to help you to open this intuition. But doing this will help you to increase that vibration and open that intuition. I think um, for some of you, you doubt your intuition because there could be people around you saying, oh no, that's not right, it's this, or no, 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 you've got that wrong, and you know in your heart of hearts what's right, but you're allowing them to take the lead on that, and I think you need to really stand your ground, Pisces. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay. With the Knight of Wands, it's like there's this need to just um, kind of, it's very interesting because you've got this card here with this energy and it's almost like when she finds the energy, she takes it too far and then sets the drum on fire because she's gone too hard out with it, right? But like the chariot going just hard out, 
and bam and then it's like poof drums on fire um it's sort of like a a, a passion like reigniting this passion for something that maybe you had a long time ago and loving it so much because it really is in that that depth of your soul um that that you know you you just drum it so hard that it, it catches on fire but you get what i mean right it's like a bit of an overkill energy um and this Seven of Swords I feel as though for some of you here you've had something taken from you and um, and I'm just wondering if the Knight of Wands is you've got it back you've got it back and maybe this was your your passion. Maybe this was your joy for life. You know, um, maybe grounding your light will help to bring whatever was taken from you back. Maybe you've got that back. But when you do get it back, I would say just keep grounded. Okay, and this could be very well what this is about. Stay grounded. Okay, so that you can... Uh, not go overboard. I just keep getting this feeling of going overboard, which is interesting. Okay, so meditation improvements require persistence. So yes, meditating, connecting in, definitely um, Pisces. Some of you are healers. Okay. Um, there are some of you who have the ability to connect in with realms that um, you only ever dreamed uh, of or don't even realize exists okay all of you have the ability to bring down this higher source of light into the earth um, to to become this conduit okay uh, and you and, and the thing is with this ground your light and the meditation you need to do this every single day some of you may have done that before and now you haven't been doing that okay um because there could be something in your life that has changed wow i'm just seeing this actually in 3d right now something in your life has changed and things seem clearer to you so what has happened is you have let go of these um these practices that uh, still help you with this connection okay some of you need grounding because things have changed and um, because even when things are really, really good, that's cool. But we still need to keep grounded. Okay. Yeah. So that's what that Knight of Wands is about. We need to keep grounded. Okay. So we've got the Page of Wands here. So this is, yes, learning another way. Like I was talking before about this passion, right? And it comes back to you or you discover a new passion. Something that you're really passionate about. And it's, it's like discovering new ways. For that passion right she's got the wand there she's flinging it up in their ear and working out how it actually works okay it's not actually on fire yet but she's working it out and she's having fun in the process you know if you're learning you know this could be about meditation you know there's some really cool meditations on um youtube um and ones that I tell you what, I don't know why this is popping in, and I can't say the word, but it's it's called it, it's a letting go meditation, and it's called effort. If if you C K it, okay, um, and it's really hilarious to listen to, but it's quite powerful. So you know, if these things that you need to let go of, go and find that and do that. You know, um, yeah, so. Have fun with it. Okay, so anything else for meditation for Pisces here, please? When I say said effort, I'm like, not effort, I don't not like E F F O R T. <laughs> I'm like, but I, I don't think I can say the word <laughs> on here. I don't think I'm allowed to. I don't know. But anyway, um, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is bringing back something from the past, maybe something you really love doing, um, remembering. You know, 
even even this inner child remembering how to have fun bringing this inner child out to play you know we're always so busy um healing the inner child but actually bringing it out to play have some fun you know get outside in the elements and go and enjoy your life you know when this it's sunny sunny go outside and enjoy the sun you know really start to to I want to say live your life so that you can connect in with the innate truth of who you are. Lead the way, light your own path. Okay, so this is you. Doing all this is going to lead the way for others, okay? Because as you walk along, you place, because you're, you're someone who works with the light, right? Um, you you place down this, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing those, um, you know, those lights that you have in the garden that are activated by the sun, those solar power lights. That's almost what I'm seeing. Like you, you go and put one down as you walk along and put another down and it lights the path, you know, and, and then others can actually follow in, the, in your footsteps. And it, but it doesn't just light the path, it ignites a beauty of the path. There's a beautiful path that you are paving that I don't even think you realise is happening here, Pisces. I don't even think you realise. And your intuition, that will help you lead the way. And maybe it is what you are doing, Pisces. Maybe this is what you are doing without potentially even realizing it. Tell me more about Lead the Way for Pisces, please. Just shuffling two cards, please, for Pisces for Lead the Way. Excellent. Oh, oh we've got three cards. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. 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 Oh, wow. Um, okay, so we've got the Five of Cups here. Interesting. Sorry, I just like to have a good gander at these cards and the artwork because there's so many different messages that come through with this lot. And I'm noticing, yeah, this is real cool. You know... The Five of Cups, usually she's focusing on the ones that have tipped over and not noticing the ones behind. There's usually two behind her, but it's almost like she's got her foot in this fourth one here, which could be this one here. She's tipping it out. She's like, nah, don't think so. Almost like out of boredom, though. Almost out of boredom. But what that's doing, it looks to me like there's something in the earth here and, and this could be watering it to help it grow, which is interesting. Sometimes, sometimes, the other thing I feel like is it looks like a nest. So this could be about birthing something new. And sometimes it is about make, letting things go in order for something else to come in. Hey, she's still got the one behind her. But it's like she's waiting for something to grow. And then we have this one here in the nest. So maybe, see this is the four of swords. So maybe it is that you are taking a bit of a break, a bit of a rest. There's been definitely some hurt that has happened here. So you've been healing from that or you are needing to heal from that. And that's the energy of the Four of Cups as well. This real feeling quite defeated. And this could be from the Seven of Swords, you know. This could be from the Seven of Swords here. But I feel like with this Five of Cups here, she's mulling over. She's sort of like, hmm, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Oh, maybe I'll do this. Oh, I don't really know. It's like she's waiting for the inspiration to come through. 
So that's where that grounding and that meditation will hopefully help you. But then we have the star, <laughs> which is really cool. So maybe this is some process that you have been through. But here's this connection in here, bringing it down, bringing this connection down through this meditation, you know. Like this is super cool to have after these cards. Super, super, super cool. Okay, so mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. Yes, yes, 100%. Create inner harmony. I mean, what else do you say about that? But look at the vibration of this owl here. Look at that. Wow. You know, and this is bringing through this intuition here because that's what the owl has. It has wisdom. It has this knowingness, you know. Um, doesn't even need to think about having to... Um, do all these things because it's already out in nature it's already connecting with its um, natural environment okay being its authentic self okay and using the elements to help it in the in the night time when the owl's awake i don't know what the owl sight's like but i'll tell you what they're probably using a lot of the intuition to help guide them along as they fly you know so yeah Okay, so we have the two of wands here. Again, here's this energy of waiting for this. It's like waiting for this light bulb moment to go off to make a decision as to which way to go. And I feel like doing all these practices is going to help you to do that, okay? Relying on your intuition to help you to do that because, um, yeah, tapping into this mindful wisdom. And then we have the queen of wands. <laughs> I love this. Look at this from the two here. To the queen, you know, so I feel like this is saying to come out of this energy here, you tap into this mindful wisdom, and you will have that in the palm of your hand. Okay, you won't be wondering, you won't be guessing, you won't be pondering, you will absolutely be knowing what you are going towards and what you are going to do. Okay, so let's have a look at your activation now. <laughs> okay let me just clear this here okay so righty. the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe Wow. So this intuition is a really big thing, huh? wonder if this is going to help activate your intuition. Let's have a look. I'm going to read through what it is. Oh, look, did I just leave that up here? Okay, I'm going to read through what um, the um, it says about the activation. Okay, and then we're actually going to do the activation. So, you are being called to let your intuition move you physically. Wow. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. And as you travel and share your creations, something is rethreaded. Wow, that reminds me of the sun and the star, you know, coming. What, did you have the sun? No, it was the star, right? Anyway, okay, sorry. Sorry, Parsi, sorry. But no, I, I want to show you. Where is it? The star, see? Like this thread coming here, it's re-threading. Okay, this card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at a soul level or that you already have. You are being called to gather groups of people either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission. You are part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line and the planet. To raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come. One of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. It's time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share 
what is real and true to you and you share the medicine that you most need. Those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. They are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Oh, that's so nice. I think we've had that card before, but I don't even remember these words. And I'm like, oh. Anyway, Pisces. Okay, so uh, normally you would place the card on your heart and um, say this activation. But I've got the card and you've got a hand. So place your left hand on your heart and repeat after me out loud if you can, please. I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. I love that. Let's do that again, hey? Okay, ready? I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. Beautiful Pisces. Make sure you come back and do this activation every day, okay? If not more than once a day. All right, and Pisces, please share these videos so that other people can have their activations and how that will help them with their journey as well, okay? By liking and subscribing. And also, please comment below where you are with this, like what, what experiences you're having, if any, with these. Um, yeah, and check out any other activations if you feel called to, Pisces. Okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.